Okay. Using all my journalistic powers. You know, I brag about them a lot. This is the inside scoop. This is breaking news from 2,000 years ago. You know, the Delphic Oracle. What was in the... That she, huh, to... <clears throat> go into her trance, huh? Well, look at The Oracle of Delphi... She was the CNN anchor woman of the ancient world. Yeah, prophetic visions, huh? Well, drugged. Totally Google esque. Groovy, beyond recognition. And uh, she just exuded world perspective. She had the rub mandrake root all over just to tone, tone it down, the exudations through the pores. Yeah, man. Um, she drew her wisdom from the temple's dazzling wealth of knowledge. Well, where'd they get all the dazzle in the bling bling from? Yeah, just, just I'm just going to let you know about that. Um... Because anybody that came to visit her, say you're a merchant, a politician, a warrior, whatever, her interpreters, her Apollo guy interpreters, they were like debrief right down to almost naked people who wanted the uh, prophecy, right? This way, the Delphic Oracle was the only one who knew all the relative strengths of the hundreds of colliding armies and navies at that time in antiquity. And we're talking 7th century B.C. You see how long ago that was? That was before Buddha was born? You know, it's a long time ago. Before Buddha, Muhammad, <laughs> and Jesus Christ, superstar, until. <laughs> um, yeah, these guys, huh? These Apollo guys. Temple of Apollo set up the, the oracle right in there. Uh, they stored and gathered precise, ouch, almost cutting information. And um, they took this secret military information into account while cunningly styling the answers of the oracle. And because I have a groovy goddess living within me, <laughs> I can just like sort of Akashic Plains, uh, she knows everything. Or what was in the fissure? Don't tell, blab it out right now. Wait for the dramatic moment before you... Okay, okay. I'll tell you in a while what was in the fissure. This And, and uh, this sort of a hissing, steaming, something that she... And then... <laughs> Blew the mind of antiquity, huh? Del Delphic Oracle, babe? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Look, let's keep it simple because we're not all that smart, you know, us in these modern times. The Delphic Oracle, she anchored the Weather Channel to CNN, World News, Colliding Armies. Persians gets off the back of the Abrazijanis and the Tajikistanis and the Kazgiristanis. And the Turkmenistanis, and then the Afghanis just got them all stoned on Mazari Sharif. Black shit, hash, good. Oh, yeah, you know. Even colliding armies need to take a vacation from time to time. It's just all that colliding, huh? It's a bruising lifestyle. 
Yeah, she gleaned the weather patterns of antiquity, all right. All these visitors, huh? Telling her all this stuff just for free. <laughs> and giving her gifts. Like golden chariots and, you know, vases with Greeks with boing boing phallic erections. Just, to, you know, give her something for one pointed focus. Yeah, she advised farmers. When's the ideal time to pl uh, plant crops? Say you're in a little backwater island, Acaria, Amargos, you know, Santorini, in the in the the crater walls caving in on you in Santorini. Well, she's just like she knew, right? She's like no problem. All right. Yeah, I mean, I am talking the original global storehouse of Wikipedia. Rip ass wisdom. She's uh, and nobody could fact check her. Seventh <laughs> uh, century BC. From then onward, what? Uh, she was blessed with a private network of informants. You know, it's just just for her. Oh, okay. Uh, look, let, let's throw in an analogy here. Makes things easy to understand. You know, you barely finished high school and you're trying to get into Greek history. Look, Delphi Coracle was the original New York Times and she had stringers that means long-distance reporters that she kept on a string, in a sense. Stringers. <laughs> um, stationed, you know, wherever they had to spend the rest of their lives. Just stationed there. Stuck there, stationed. Can't get out. But you can at least send a message to the Oracle of Delphi. You know, get a gold coin. <laughs> with their picture on it. Um, yeah. She had stringers, reporters, all, all through the ancient world, and they, you know, reported in. And the peak of her influence, the 6th century before they did that yogi who learned all his stuff in India, and he called himself... Jesus, um, yeah, the power of the oracle was her female <laughs> intuition on drugs, which we'll, we'll tell you what, all about that soon. Yeah, she's drugged out right to the gills, huh? She's just like, you know, obviously flipped out. And big show, too. <laughs> you know, when somebody asked her a question, like, wow, what set this chick on fire, you know? Uh, type environment. Well, okay, she blurted out a bunch of stuff, mostly incomprehensible to like a normal person, but who cares because she had the Apollo stylers style it up for her and they use all that secret wisdom. <laughs> Look, uh, dream team of prophecy. Oracle, female, style up her Prophecies, male, Shiva, Shakti, Ying, Yang. And you know what? They were lined up in chariots, like backed up, you know, all the way to Athens, trying to get an audience with her. For how long? 17 hundred years that's it that's my report at first I thought it was brilliant but now goddess is sitting next to me when you're sitting next to a goddess right their standards get so high that what first seems brilliant might shortly after seem 
déclassé in French means lower class. <laughs>